If I look into the future, it's vital to think and to be sustainable in everything we do. From when you pick materials to the value chain when it's being produced until when it's time to recycle it and, and dispense of it. One of the biggest challenges was to do a retake on a market segment that people are used to and improving on it without alienating the current user. The customer range is quite wide and since the lift is a tool for accessibility, the usability of the product is essential. As an industrial designer, I have a broad platform to influence when it comes to the materials and the form. It should be really easy to understand and in the same time appeals to the user. So we went out and uh, looked at the users of the lifts that scatter around the city and we asked them all sorts of questions when observing uh, how the experience was. The most important part of design for me is the user experience and to make it as easy to use and to understand. We made a design modeler so the customer can show the materials and the, and the colors that fit into their own home. We also wanted the lift not to feel like a technical device. When we were in the design process, we realized that the whole to run button was hard to understand for the user. We had a couple of workshops with the people that have worked with Lyft for, for many, many years and asked them how we can improve the lift further. We found out the most ergonomic way to operate the lift is by holding the handrail. By doing that, the user could hold down the button while holding the handle at the same time in a natural position. The front panel creates a floating expression and uh, that together with the minimalistic design, it was giving the name air.